is my favorite guitar build so far. Out of all the ones I built, this is still my favorite. Put a lot of work into this guitar, so I feel it deserves even more. So it's about to go through another makeover. But this is the before. I got the pearl white paint. This is the regular. I scalloped all these frets myself and that was a pain. But I left the first three for all the cording. Seems to work out good that way. Okay, so that was before. Okay, so here's all the new parts that I will be putting on. We've got, first of all, all starting on this side, we've got all new big 500K pots and the old school looking switch. Not the new little modern square body thing that everything comes with now. My favorite type of strap pins. Looks like a football. Hard as heck to get on the strap, but once it's on, they ain't coming off. I got this, this is the mid middle pickup because the middle pickup that's in there now is just a stock Squire pickup, I think. This is a staggered uh, middle pickup and it's also Onico 5 magnet. Onico, Onico, however they say that. Here's my faithful Ernie Ball polish. And I got, these are the only locking tuners I could find in this finish, because I wanted the antique brass finish. And they're Geiker, which uh, were made in Korea. They had really good reviews. And they look really cool. Got those. Found these antique brass knobs that match everything pretty good a little bit different but I think they're gonna look cool better than the just the white standard straps and I got a oh, I found the only bridge that matches everything in antique old looking brass came with a trembling arm and this thing's got to go because I've got a solid steel block that's gonna go in there came with the springs and everything and then brand new from Ernie Ball is the Hyper Slinkies. Eight to 42, I've been waiting for this gauge for a long time. Cause these are perfect for guitars that only have 21 frets. Got any old Squires or any old Fenders that you're using that are just 21 frets, but you want to bend up that high E on the, where it's normally the 22nd fret. You can do it on the 21st fret with these eights. So that's about it. So I'm gonna get started and put all this stuff on there and I'll show you the results when I'm done. <laughs> 